so here's a little bit about the numbers that we receive during automatic writing or channeling. The most commonly received number is the number eight, which we may also receive in the form of an infinity sign. Now, whenever we are receiving an infinity sign or the number eight, it means divine intervention, divine connection, and also divine abundance. So the number eight is the most commonly received number when we practice automatic writing. Then the other numbers that we may receive and the meanings, associated meanings. If we receive zero, that means end of a cycle and beginning of something new. When we receive the number one, which is related to sun, it means a fresh start, a new beginning, a new cycle. Okay, so you might receive a single number one or you might receive multiple ones. The meaning would remain the same. The number two, or if you're receiving two in a pattern repeatedly, two is for the planet moon. Moon is all about our subconscious mind. So if you're seeing two repeatedly or you're receiving two in writing, it means take care of your mind your subconscious as well as your conscious mind. Don't let your thoughts overpower you. That is the message when you get twos repeatedly. Right? The next one is the number three, which is the number for the Holy Trinity. Three is also the master number, Jupiter's number. So when you're receiving three, that is divine wisdom, divine knowledge, sharing right number four related to Uranus number four is also a number for stability for a solid foundation it's also a number for change so remember when you're receiving fours repeatedly it shows a change is coming a transformation right the next number is number five so five is related to the planet Mercury. And when you're receiving fives constantly, it may also come in the form of S. So either S or five, it shows communication, that you're meant to focus on communication on your throat chakra. So express yourself more, communicate, network, spread out. Okay, so that is number five. Number six is the number for Venus, which is all about love, the planet of love, of beauty, of comfort, of luxury. So when you're receiving six, it shows divine abundance again. So six is the number of divine abundance, divine grace, divine beauty. The next number is number seven. So when you're receiving seven in your writing, seven is a very spiritual number. It is the number related to the planet Ketu as per Indian Vedic astrology. And as per Western astrology, it is related to the planet Neptune, which is related to spirituality. So when you're receiving seven, the messages go within. Connect with your higher self. That's where you will receive your answers. Meditate, contemplate, stay silent, choose to stay silent. Right? So that is the number seven for you. And then eight we already covered. The most common, divine abundance, divine protection. Eight or infinity, it's the same thing. And then nine. Nine is for completion. Nine has got the energy of Mars. So nine is all about completing a cycle, ending a cycle, ending a phase, probably beginning something, but it definitely shows the, you know, the end point of something. So remember these numbers, eight is related to Saturn's energy. So it's all about discipline. It's all about structure. It's all about organization. 
It's all about patience and karma as well. So remember, the number eight is also a karmic number. So take care of your karma, of your prarabdha karma, which is your current karma, your thoughts, your intentions, your actions. So these are a few angel numbers that I wanted you all to know. So that's it for now. Thank you.